Uh, we're expecting a little over 400 students today. Uh, the students are in grades third through eight. Uh, so some of the activities they're going to do are uh, con hacks, which is kind of a, a one versus one coloring activity. Um, they've got switching light bulbs where we've got different uh, light switches they can turn on and off based on multiples of numbers. Uh, we've got a Sphero robotics activity. A Sphero is a sphere-shaped ball that's a robot that's different than any more forward and backward circling uh, car or truck robotics. The whole idea, the reason we made our X's as characters is because people hit algebra and think math is now unassociated with anything in real life and it's the opposite. You can't do anything in real life without numbers of some sort. What we're doing inside is we're showing students how in shipbuilding and modeling and simulation uses math in everyday purposes. So we're showing them how we're using virtual reality, free software like Unity for our AR apps. Also they're measuring so they're learning how a lot of the the technology they're using for everyday social media purposes can be used actually in the real industry. So it's lots of fun. Nice job, ladies. Good job. But we have simple activities that look like they're coloring, but also require problem solving and logistical thinking and sequential thinking. So the math skills that you're trying to develop when they're young are sequential thoughts and problem solving without being afraid to. And that's the whole idea behind some of the activities. You have a three ounce cup, a five ounce cup. How do you make four ounces? Last year was our first year coming, and this year is even better. It's much bigger than last year. We enjoyed it. We look forward to next year.